Hey, what's up guys? I'm on a different account today because someone asked me how to get level 60 as soon as possible. So I jumped in on a, an account from um, a guildmate in 69L. So I, I'm on I do 69 which as you can see, this account is level 58. So in this video, I'm going to give you uh, a couple tips on how to get level 60 as fast as possible. So a lot of you guys will probably know all of this, but some of you will probably forget some of the easiest ways to get to level 60 ASAP. All right, first of all, the f one of the first thing that you do in this game that they show you is to get some heroes. Do the, uh, adve uh, is it called the adventure? Uh, whatever it's called, the normal and the elite. So you get some medals, you get some um, trophies for your heroes. Use your brave arts. This is very important. So once again, everyone should know about it. Make sure you use your brave art on a daily basis. You're gonna get some experience, like 4,000 in that case, as well as some speed up, some gold. And if you do the elite, you're gonna get some medals. Um, I've had some arguments with some people. The experience is guaranteed, the gold is guaranteed, the speed up is also guaranteed, as well as the bonus um, food for to level up your heroes. Uh, but all of the loots here are random, although some heroes will drop some specific trophies. Now, this is one of the easiest one. I know everyone knows about that. Uh, another way to do it is, uh, by uh, monster hunting. So let me put uh, the, the, the little monster hunt gear that this very, very low account has on. So I know that's the only thing uh, we have on this account. Uh, let me get a level one. Uh, so I'm gonna do a 2X, there we go. Do I have time? What's the, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's all good. So you get some experience per the number of it's on level one, two, three, four, five. Um, this is not a super fast way to get experience, but it just adds up. So in that case, you get, uh, it's not a lot, 1,681, uh, but different. And you also get some uh, heroes experience, but we're talking about the level, the global level of your account. So. This adds up, but this is not what's gonna break, make or break your game. Uh, anyway, if you're free to play, uh, even uh, light pay to play, you're you're gonna have some issues with energy. I could use a lot of energy to get some experience, but once you get to level 55, six, seven, eight, it takes a lot. So basically, uh, I would need to do <laughs> like a thousand hits that I just did which cost me 4,000 energy, uh, would only get me like a million six hundred thousand experience. Um, so basically, uh, I would need to spend, uh, what's that, um, to get the, the six million that I need for this, <laughs> I would need to spend like uh, 16 million energy. So it's, it's really, really not the best way to do it, but it adds up. So obviously guys, make sure that you spend your energy, make sure that you spend your brave arts. The next thing that you wanna focus on and make sure uh, that you do on a daily basis, do your admin quest. So whenever admin quests and guild quests, whenever they refresh, make sure to use them. You get a small amount of experience. So in that case, I got nine there. All that gray, it looks like. Yes, except for this one. Yeah, which is, so uh, this is gonna give me like um, about, about 2,200 experience. Not a lot, you, but you gotta make sure that you do it. Um, once you, um, you should be saving your guild quest scroll. So right now I got 12. Uh, you should be saving those for whenever it's 2x. So whenever it's 2x, it's twice the experience. So these two are pretty good. The other thing, and usually I, I tell people, don't, don't open your turf quest because it inflates your might. But once, when you're below level 60, it's always good to uh, open these. Uh, I will open a bunch of them. I, I talk with the account owner and it's good. Uh, so one of the things you want to do also is 
especially those smaller ones as you can see like 20, uh, 30,000, 17,000, 21,000, 26,000, 29,000. That's a lot of experience. Uh, usually the basically we want to open all the ones uh, you gotta make sure that you um, you have the um, the artifact ones because if you don't open these the building ones you will not be able to see the um, the artifact and, and there's there's a lot of there we go I think I'm getting I think I'm getting there uh, yes I should see it's still it's still the uh, the buildings once again this is gonna give this account a bunch of inflated might but it's a small account so it's not a big deal we're getting to the last ones until we get to research because be after building you're gonna get the um, uh, miscellaneous ones where we're gonna get the artifact the artifact is a pretty good one where can i find this one it should come up pretty soon i see i see that's a we're getting a lot of experience on this one there we go there we go uh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough for level 59 so this is the miscellaneous ones let's get some experience from these let's go let's go and there we go with the artifact and usually that's where I tell people you open those uh, because they're really good you want the artifact uh, because it's gonna progress your account but uh, stop at the research and then only open the ones for research for let's say uh what's it called the gilfest there's this this 144 points uh quest that it's pretty good so i usually stop there let's go see so as you can see a lot of brave arts that i got lots of resources i need, i think I, I i would need to do something with those resources um and then i would uh definitely use the brave arts that I, the stamina rather than not the brave arts but uh, uh, i think yeah this is completed i think the next one would be like trade uh i think this account is stuck at the yeah at um currently on the uh chapter so i'm just gonna do this uh, how much experience did I gain on the account with that? So about 3 million just for that. Obviously, that's a lot that was not open for a long time. But there's there's a lot of experience. My suggestion is is use use like use those turf quests for the experience. But once you get to level 60, like uh, step on the break for that. Uh, on this account, this is a small account, like 46 million might. Uh, this uh, only 600 uh, 600,000 might from quest this is not a game breaker this is not prevent this account from migrating uh, and then uh, what else do we have I think that's it there's nothing in the uh, well on the daily ones uh, if you're low yes you still like at this castle star uh, at this castle level this account is still getting experience so uh, maybe maybe this account has some experience yes 44 uh, so another 200,000 uh, experience from that but once you get I think that once you get to level uh, castle 22 that's where you um, that's where you stop getting those those experience um, those experience uh, I, sh I think I should <laughs> I should use that you you stop getting those experience um, rewards all right and the last one the last one uh one thing that your guys are gonna notice is it is when you uh unlock the skirmish when you beat the skirmish you get some experience and skirmish are kind of considered like normal battles so that's why you get some experience uh because you lose you can lose some troops the only thing is that it does not add up to the kills this account has 662 kills let's see if we can get some more kills and the thing is this is this is going to be a great way as you can see i'm smack in the middle of a um of a bot uh ive and so these guys they're all bots um all of them that are shielded i will not be able to do anything with those guys but as you can see there are some castles that are unshielded so i will try to look for a castle that is uh sending some gathering troops and I'm gonna speed my troops to the tile before they get there. So I see that this one is coming back. Uh, it's a small account, but 
I should, and I, I see another one here. And usually when they get back, they send back like right away or within like a minute or two. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. Um, I've done that on uh, on stream just for the fun of it. So that's why I'm gonna do it on this account to see how much experience we can get. And the reason why I say that is, is not, I'm not telling you guys to find a bot hive. I'm just saying that you can do the same strategy with a friend. Uh, that person needs to be in a different guild, but basically they can feed you kills. Uh, you just need to get to the uh, tile before they get there. They don't have to be in fury. All, none of these accounts will be in fury when they hit me. Uh, <laughs> and they need to send. And I know there's a lot of shield at the moment because we just had that huge, uh, huge maintenance. So some of these are probably still shielded from the maintenance. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. So uh, I'm still waiting for one of these guys to send. And as soon as I get one, we're going to cut to a um, work. I'm going to I'm going to jump ahead to um, to them attacking me on the tile. <laughs> and last time I did that, they were a lot faster to sent to the tile oh is this so i, I see all, i see almost almost all of them have troops getting back um oh there it is there it is we see this guy S okay i got three minutes i need to get there before so i'm just gonna send like cav 110,000. that should be good i got two minutes uh so i don't need to speed up let's see if i can get some more Maybe they're maybe they're all gonna send at the same time or one after the other. Uh, but basically, I have no idea how many troops this castle is sending. Um, but like I said, you can do that with a partner, with a friend in another guild. You don't need to go in fury. They don't need to go in fury uh, as long as they are unshielded and you get to the tile before them. You will get the kills. They will lose some troops as if they attack you, but uh, they don't need to. Um, they don't need to be in fury for that. So there's no risk if you if if they get attacked, they can still shield, um, and you're gonna get those. Uh, those, those you're gonna get some experience from that. Um, <laughs> all right, let's skip ahead to the hit and let's see if I can get more kills than that. There we go. Here's the attack on my tile. Um, so far, that's the only one that has sent, but there's gonna be more. These guys are 24 seven and okay, there's a glitch in the, um, but there we go. He attacked me and what happened? Victory and not a lot of experience, 44. So I only killed uh, 700 troops. Obviously those are T1. So you're not gonna get a lot from T1s. There we go, T1s. Uh, but I have seen these guys sending like 70,000 troops. So that would be like a um, hundred times more experience. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna see if I can get some more kills out of these guys. I know some of these accounts, like I know that the ST4209 has a lot of troops, a lot more than this account. Uh, there we go, uh, is this one? Yeah, I sh should see like this guy here one of them I need to get there before once again I'm gonna send this 146 I should be good uh, if I recall this guy is yeah 220 so I'll be good to go with this one um, I will try to uh, not send again for this one because it, usually when when you kill some troops like this on their castle they're gonna uh, eel right away and send again uh, only like a thousand troops so uh, but yeah it is not like this, this one on, on this video, obviously, I'm not gonna get a lot of experience. Um, but if you do it with a friend, uh, a friend that has like uh, T1 or T2 that they're willing to, to have you kill uh, so you can get some experience, that is a great way to do it. You could also trade some resources for those skills. It does not have to be a gift that a friend gives you. It could be a trade that you do with someone else that you trust and that they trust you. 
so far, that's about it as far as... I'm not really lucky. I, I don't see... Uh, I see most of them are shielded. Usually half of them are shielded because some people are going to spy them and they're going to shield right away. But in uh, in this kingdom, I have... I have had situation where most of them okay where's this guy okay i see this guy's coming back so maybe we're gonna be lucky with this one uh who else who else is sending or not like i said most of them are shielded probably because of the maintenance that we had not too long ago at the time that this video will be released it's probably gonna be a couple days since we had the um, since you guys add the maintenance on the server, so I'm looking at this. This is sent from a shielded account. There we go. I think, yeah, the my troops are not. They have not attacked me yet. I mean, we could we could go watch it. It's coming. Couple seconds, 15 seconds. So, oh yeah, I I don't know, but I could look at what they're sending. So in that case, that's 10,000 uh, troops. So that's going to be a little bit more experience. Uh, not that much, though. Not that much. Uh, the number of, um, of uh, experience you get for killing T1s is not that great. So in that case, 574. So like I said, if I would get like um, uh, 70,000 troops, I would be getting about 3,000 for um, about like seven times the experience. Um, so if someone has a lot of T1s that they're willing um, to have... Uh, have you killed them? That's a way to do it. Um, if they're willing to have their T2 die, that's another way. I see this guy. I got five minutes. Obviously, we're not going to watch the whole five minutes, but I just got to make sure my uh, troops get there before them. You can do that with T2, T3. Um, in that case, I'm just sending T3 because this is a small account and it has T3. does not have good stats, so... Uh, there's still a risk that uh, <laughs> T1s, it could hurt me a little bit more. But yes, um, that's one way to do it. Um, I will uh, skip ahead to the last hit uh, and just tell you guys, basically, find a friend, do it with a friend. Uh, doing it with those bots is not that fun. <laughs> All right, and as you can see, these guys are, uh, they keep on coming. Uh, so this is going to be only four, like 5,000 troops in that case. And, oh, 34,000. Ooh, I think I have, I, <laughs> I think I sent Archer there. Oh, that might be, that might not be good. But still, it's not, yeah, it's not going to be in that wood style. I have, oh, no, I have cabs. So I'm good, I'm good. But basically, I've done the mad guys. You get, uh, basically, you need to kill, for one experience point, you need to kill 17 T1. So the last level uh, is 21 million experience. So you would need to kill uh, <laughs> 350 million T1. Yeah, good luck with that. Obviously, um, this is only a way to get some more uh, experience. This is not the main way to um, to get to level 60, but it's just something that you can add to uh, your um, uh, experience gains. As you can see that 5,000 kill get me, uh, gave me 277. So if we do the math, like I said, for one experience, so uh, 4,798 divided by uh, 277, you get 17.3, something like this um, experience. So it's 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 about 17.25 or something like that uh, kills T1 for one experience. Like I said, this is not sustainable. And I got like close to 2,000 with that big hit uh, of 34,000 troops. So these are ways to get extra experience. I would not suggest that you guys um, trade all those skills uh, with, with friends just to get to um, level 60. It's just gonna add up. It's not a great way to do it. Another way to do it is simply unshield and let people attack you. Um, it sucks, but uh, you're, you're gonna get some experience. Um, Guys, I hope all of this was useful. Uh, like I said, 
Uh, if you are trying to speed run to level 60, uh, this will be uh, this will be costing you a lot. You and your friends, if you want to trade kills, if you can find some uh, unshielded bots like this, uh, like these guys, uh, you can get some extra experience. There we go. I see. Uh, I got plenty of time to get. Oh, seven minutes. Okay, I will speed up 25. You will probably not see this. Uh, because I will end the video on on that note, but basically um, that those are ways that you can uh, those are ways that you can get some extra experience. Oh, I need to speed this up five minutes. Yes, I can do it. I can, I can stick around for one minute and show you guys uh, the experience from that. It I'm not expecting that that much experience as you saw uh, about four thousand. I got from a big. A big hit of uh, how much was it? Um, thirty something, thirty thousand. Uh, oh, troop, 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 troop. Uh, army limit. So obviously on a small small castle like this, uh, that's what we're gonna get. All right, let's go look at this. This is gonna be the last hit. I'm gonna get there just before uh, this guy. That's gonna be. Oh, we can wait. We can wait the thirty seconds unless this is a very very small amount of troops. And there we go. I should be able to see what's coming. And it's 28,000. And I think I sent... Uh, did I, <laughs> what did I send there? I think I sent... Uh, there we go. This one. Sniper. So that should not be great. But obviously, um, T3 against T1. Uh, I should not have any issues. And I will get um, most of those skills. <laughs> if not all of them. There we go. Uh, I don't think they're walking back. Yeah, they're not walking back. And I lost a thousand. It's with with the food that I have right now. It's not a big deal. Let's bring this back. And like I said, I got a thousand experience, a thousand six hundred. So it is a way to get experience. But once again, guys, uh, keep your expectations low because this is going to be very, 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 very slow. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you did for your level 60 or if you're not level 60, what you're doing, will that help you? Are you are there any things that you f you forgot about these strats? Let me know in the comments below and guys, I'll see you in the next video.